What's up, Internet? We are back with more Apuna as my cat sits on my lap because he has nowhere to go because I'm apparently moving rooms to, like, a big storage room. So I've got, like, three rooms worth of stuff in my office right now, and it's it's kind of cramped. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we are here in Opuna. Uh, I just realized there's something we missed last week, so we're going to go to that real, real quick, and then we're going to go to the Blue Desert Hotel, which is effectively the single best music in the game, I think. Well, well, single best, maybe. It's tied with Partisans. We'll, we'll see some good music. It's Apuna. Apuna is known for its awesome soundtrack, which is why it's a good soundtrack and you should listen to it. But either way, uh, I'm looking for the fishing area. Because there's like an extra fishing thing we need to do in parallel with something else. And I forgot to grab it while we were here last. Was that a secret password I missed? thought I saw something. I guess not. Uh, this looks like where I need to go. I just gotta grab something real quick. Basically, uh, there's someone else who gives you like a secondary fishing license that you need for the end of the game and you need to do a bunch of stuff for it, so. Uh, one of these people does. Uh, I have fishing tools actually, and we're gonna have to do a lot more fishing later, but I just want to make sure I get this right now so I don't, uh, uh, one button control schemes. They, they have drawbacks. Okay. You. I want that angling license, please. Okay, now we gotta pick up a... Your foolish life. I feel like she's projecting. <laughs> now I think we have to get in, like a, uh, a job for that license as well. Which is good, because that's on our way out, and then we can head off to the Blue Desert and listen to some of the best music in the game. So let's see, where's the job center? Okay. Now there's the burger shop, which makes this the job center. And... I'm not sure which, if any of these people give fishing jobs, but we'll check a look. I already have the fishing license, but I think you need to upgrade as well, which requires more stuff. I already have the license. I think the far right is our main class, so this would be the one. It could entirely be possible that there isn't specifically jobs given for this. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, as long as we have that, that's the important thing. I think we upgrade just by fishing, but I'm not sure. We'll see when it becomes relevant. Anyway, off to the little uh, travel center thing where there's no music, which is sad. Go, 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 go. Go. I wonder if I'm supposed to choose my destination before I get into the pod or after. I'm hoping it's not before, because before, we might just be heading back to area number one, which is less than ideal. But I guess we'll find out. This world is so cool. This is not where we need to go, is it? Now we're at the Skypod entrance. That's uh, not terribly helpful in figuring out exactly where we're trying to go. But... I think it's pretty safe to say we're in Tokyo, which is not where I want to go. Do I have to talk to this guy? Oi. When you want to confirm your destination, access the machine on the right side. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go there, actually. I said yes, because I want to skip through text fast, but uh, curse my impatience. Let's try this again. We need to go to Blue Desert. Alright. Gonna go be an attendant at a hotel. Maybe get a few more bucks. Rather than that crappy burger shop, we can hope. I'm not terribly enthused about that, nor am I sure I'll actually get paid more, but the payment is secondary. What's more important is that we get the license that lets us excavate stuff. Because our mining license is ultimately the 
the big goal of this little trek, and I think it's an important thing to do. Also, this is Blue Desert. It's one of the coolest areas in the game, I think. It's just beautiful. It has kind of an obnoxious side quest. I'm not sure how far we have to be in to access it. But, uh... Hoverboards, go! So, this is Blue Desert. It is a blue desert. I'm just gonna explore and see what we can find. Oh, we got a T. Nice. What's your deal? Why are you hanging out over here? Oh no, it's this guy. <laughs> yeah, so sand weasels, it's a thing we're gonna have to deal with later, and it sucks. Because we have to run around this huge area and collect some. Oh, the music's so pretty here. Airbag capsule. I think that's actually equipment. Yes. Special optional function in dangerous situations. A shield will appear that will restore HP. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'd like that. That sounds very useful. It's not one of those things that sounds like it's gonna break. Is there any other cool stuff around here other than sand weasels that I don't want to deal with ever? And there's at least a couple art installations from what I saw. Pocket tent, that's going to be useful. Just going to go around the entire area. Just because if I check all the sides, they can't possibly hide anything from us. And then after that, we'll take a look at the art installations and then go to the hotel where we actually need to go. But that's an art installation over there, that building. Okay, so we're back here. So let's go pick up some art. So we gotta be more artsy-fartsy if we wanna get some cool jobs later. Caval Studio 2. One point of art. Oh, the music in this is just so pretty. And then, of course, if I can just a little bit more art. That's a pretty painting. Oh, hey, there's a person here. What's your story, buddy? He's not Calvel. Yes, I'm famous. But not actually famous, apparently. Even though I am. He's a musician. Neat. More friends is a plus. Yes, please. Alright, cool. Is anything interesting? Yeah, but I'm a ranger, so I'm not hanging out in the domes. I'm not actually safe, buddy. Yeah, yeah. World building that I'm not paying attention to too much. Also, some kind of weird golem-looking thing in the ground. Why are you out in the middle of the desert? Ah, oh, nice. Well, at least their brother's doing well. That's a plus. It's a very pretty environment, too. Don't discredit that, Mr. Sage Man. Also, it has some really beautiful music. Granted, I'm, I'm still waiting to listen to the hotel music, which I think is some of the best music in the game, but... Huh. Let's see, is there anything else around here? Treasure! Five MT. Rock and roll. That totally wasn't a waste of time. Oh, I love the music to this area. Okay. So let's talk to some people. This is a big guy. I did not know that, actually. Hmm. 
If I said yes, did you want to be friends? Because I need to have more friends. Yay, more friends. The power of friendship will get us through space temp work. <laughs> okay, being his friend now means I have to do a bunch of work for him. Awesome. Uh-oh. Background storytelling. Or rather, exposition, not background storytelling. Still, I think we do have access to quite a few rooms now, so... Hmm. Poop. I think we have to actually become a hotel attendant to actually go in and clean this place. Uh, okay, okay, we'll do that first, then. Fine. I just want some secret codes. Is there any secret codes around here? Because those are important. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm here for a job. Oh, can I sleep in the lobby? I will sleep in the lobby. Butler. Yes. That might have been a mistranslation, because I needed an attendant, but somehow I am the attendant? Okay. Okay, can I go in here? I'm going in here. I need secrets. Hmm. Does not look like there are any, though. Alas. But we do get some awesome jams, that's a big plus. Okay, so we gotta go to fourth floor penthouse. I don't know why the first floor has stairs, but after that we have to take an elevator. That's a little weird. And now more stairs. I have to go to floor four. Sky course, you say? <gasps> Pretty. Also, I think this is entirely not uh, actually like proper environment because you can see the night sky up there, but it's sunny down here. So this is some sort of fake wallpaper that just looks really, really nice, but still, really, really pretty. I love the Blue Desert Hotel. What's in here? Let me in. Oh, but I want to be a... No. I don't want to come back later. Is this my puppy? Oh, we need the dog for a thing. I remember this. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> okay. So they've got some nice food. Ooh, we got a back door area. Is there any secrets back here? I must know. Lady, have you seen secrets? I'm kind of looking for them. Mary and Joseph? I think that's a reference. It's kind of weird that it's here, but I think that's what it is. Are you Janet? I assume you are. Alright. Yes, I worked at a burger shop for about 20 minutes. Got a calm panel. Alright, cool. <laughs> okay, so if I have problems, don't contact you. Got it. That's rather rude. What's your deal? Hmm. But I, I want to be a mining engineer so that I can continue. Oh dear lord. I forgot that this was mandatory. Okay, so we gotta catch sand weasels. Which I think we need to borrow a dog for.
Well, I come with? Pup, I think I'm gonna have to come back and get you for freaking sand weasels, because sand weasels. That's an awesome outfit. What is the deal with your outfit, dude? Hmm. Yes, I am. Could you put in a word with me? For me? Whatever? I, I would like to work at your ad agency and get more popular. Hey, you have a name. That means you're important. I did, but I need a sand weasel before he'll let me. Oh, it's this lady again. I think. I feel like I shouldn't tell her that. Or is that a quest? <laughs> this is the other lady I was looking for. Yes, we've spoken before. But I am famous. I'm the famous crazy alien species that isn't really around here too much. And I've been looking up all the art. Also, why do you need a helmet to go swimming? I'm just going to walk away. Okay, so we got to go catch sand weasels, which I think we actually do need a, that dog for, so that's suboptimal. But I think we just have to go be an attendant for a little while before we do any of that. So, that's kind of our mission right now. So, we got to go talk to this butler guy, Mr. Butlertron. Room service. Okay. Oh, now we're getting a little more complicated, it looks like. Also, there's a new person in the kitchen. Fill the order. Okay. Bring it over here. I think I can do this. Carry the box to the customer room, which will give us an in to go and look for secrets. Five customers. Okay, so it's a little, it's not as bad as last time, but it's going to be longer. Okay, let's go. We'll make this work. Okie doke. I'm very ready, let's do it. 301, minestrone and sushi. Calorie cube and vegetable juice. Okay, that's significantly more information. Okay, so we need vegetable juice, calorie cube. Uh, what's the vegetable juice? No. Yep, that's what we need. Now we need the sushi and the minestrone. I believe it's that. Sushi? That sounds right. Take it here. Okay, now I just gotta remember to go to 301. Go, go, go. Alright. Whoa! I don't know why all those people are trying to chase me. Oh, that's what it is. These people will knock you down. That's not good. Okay. Uh, we need to get to 301. That's this room. Go, 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 go. Hello. 
Yes. Don't kick me out. I want to look for secrets in your room, please. There we go. 100 MT. Alright. So let's see. What's your whole deal? Looking at plants, huh? Hey, you make shoes? That's a useful profession. Everyone needs shoes. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for dancing cacti, buddy. I'll probably immediately forget that you were the one looking for him, but I'll keep an eye out. Also secrets, but there are no secrets. Actually, can I? I can. I am officially staff. I can go wherever the hell I want. Ha <laughs> ha. I must check all the rooms. Find all the secrets that probably don't exist because it's more of a sub area than like a proper town area. But still... I think this guy's trying to... I don't know what this guy's trying to do. Like, it looks like he's trying to do, like, that weird breakdancing animation thing, but he's kind of given up halfway on it. Notice all the NPCs clogging the the uh, hallways are now gone, too. Right, let's see if there's any... Thanks to me, it is... Like, I was very kind to say that. So, is there any secrets anywhere? Probably not, but I'm gonna go crazy if I don't check. Because I need all the flipping secret stuff and power-ups and stuff I can get. She's not wearing very much clothing. Also, this guy is sleeping. Did you order room service, sleepy guy? Okay. I think there's implications there. Anyway. Uh, before we talk to that guy, we should restock on all the stuff, because I'm betting it doesn't restock on its own. Oh, it actually does. That's that's handy. Okay, let's, let's start the next mission. Hello? Okay. So, 304. Pizza... Pie, BLT, juice. Okay, I got this. So where's pizza? I could go for pizza. Pizza's good. Take that roulette wheel. Okay, pizza. Pie. Juice. No, I don't want a calorie cube. I want the vegetable juice and the BLT. No, I'm on a time limit game. Stop asking me to do stuff. Okay, uh, BLT, 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 there it is. All right, we should be good. Stop talking to me, I just want a travel box. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, 304. I think there is exactly just enough information to not completely overload me, but I feel like if I had to, like, manage four things plus remember a floor number, that would probably be it. Okay, so we're on floor three, and 304 should be right there. For this guy. Here you go. They all probably accept it, whether or not uh, they actually ordered it or not, which is kind of annoying. Three more. I'm gonna be the best attendant ever. Then I'm gonna go catch sand weasels. And then I'm gonna mine. And that'll help me get to a volcano at some point. That's the, the sort of life path trajectory we are following right now. Alright. Order number three. 303. I wonder if they're all on floor three. Like, make the the top floor so that you've got more people you have to deal with. BLT, canteen, juice. 
Just those three things, okay. I didn't like that they added, like, an extra bit of dialogue there. That's annoying. Okay, so... BLT, canteen, and juice. So we got the vegetable juice. What's a canteen, though? No. Um... Well, it looks like a canteen. Yes. Okay, now we just need a BLT, which is this guy. We'll take that. And we will package that up and get that through 303. I'm terrified about them, like, having a six-item order. I'm trying to keep that straight. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like They'll make multiple orders of the same object. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Because I'm pretty sure if they see you, they'll start chasing you. It's kind of a problem if they catch you. Okay, so 303 should be right behind us. Excuse me. Whoop. You. You look like a chef, so I'm not sure why you're ordering room service, but here you go. There we go. Or MT for us. Alright, we got two more. And then suddenly the hallways are significantly emptier than they were a moment ago. It's mysterious. They're, they're ghost customers is what they are. They're here to haunt our food. That's the only possible explanation. Okay. Okay, so our next one is 201. Canteen, pizza, BLT. Okay. Canteen, pizza, BLT. Pizza. BLT. And I believe that's the canteen. Now we need to take to 201. It should be a lot easier if he didn't bother giving you, like, that... that bit of text afterwards like uh do you think you can handle it it's like yes yes i can just let me go okay 201 that's where we need to go <gasps> i didn't put it in a box i'm the worst attendant ever uh-oh 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 uh -oh. oh did it completely erase the order to oh it did okay we can do this pizza blt I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this canteen. 201. After I box it. Yes, we're good. We're good, we're good. Okay, let's go. It's a good thing the music to this area is so nice because it feels like you're here forever. <laughs> But it is some of the nicest music in the game, too, so that's nice. Here you go. 201. Pizza, BLT, and a canteen. You sound confused. You're the one who ordered it, yes? Alright, one more guest. We got this. Okay, let's go on a magical quest to get this last order done. It will be the greatest attendant who ever attended. 301. Sushi, cube. They're giving me useless information. Cereal. Sushi, cube, cereal. 301. Got it. Okay, well, here's cube. Sushi Cube 301. Was there something else? Oh, I've already forgotten. Uh, screw it. We're gonna hope that's it. I feel like there was one extra thing, but I can't think of what it is. Uh, I'm not made to be an attendant of a hotel. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. 
301, 301, 301, 301, 301. There's a canteen we missed, isn't it? Crap. We got this wrong. Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if they'd say that as well. If uh, they didn't actually make an order. I have to return the box. Oh. <laughs> yes. Discontinued is not the word I would have chosen there, but again, weird translation. We're against the clock right now. Okay, sushi. Ugh, come on. Dialogue box. I'm on a timer here. Come on, let's go. Yes. Oh. <sighs> I don't think we're gonna make it. Yes. Yes. I wish the, the clock would stop for this. Okay. Calorie cube. Oh, this is gonna be close. Okay. Canteen. Sushi. Now I gotta get to 301 in 45 seconds. Okay. That's. That's maybe doable. If the clock would just stop while things are animating. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, get out of the way, Butler Tron. Uh, 301, 301, 301, 301. Get out of the way. <laughs> if that's not it, I will dump it on you. Okay. Fair enough. Boy, you want some free food? Here you go. Huh. Oh no. Uh oh. Are you actually going to... I think they are actually kicking me out of the hotel. Oh, he's so sad. <gasps> he legitimately looks so sad. Uh, okay, well, we'll get it right this time. I guess I'm not docking wages, I guess. Okay. Let's get this right. 202. Minestrone, T. Fortune Pie. Okay, that's not confusing. That was 201, he said? Okay. Okay, so Minestrone, Pie, Teapot, Tea, which are totally different things for reasons. That's going to 201, I think. Tea. That doesn't... Okay, that other thing looked like a teapot. This looks like just an energy drink, but okay. Again, might be dodgy translation. Stop talking to me. I need to package this up and go before I screw this whole thing up. Mm. Frustration. Well, it would be nice if you did anything. Guy just talking to me would waste time. Alright, 201. Let's go. Alright. Let's not run into random jerks. We'll knock food off our hoverboard. 201. Please tell me you ordered this and I got it right. Ah. Uh, okay. 
Well, at least that means that we can just, you know, go to every single room if we need to. There we go. I am the worst room service attendant ever. I also genuinely can't care. Alright. Okay, let's go talk to Janet. Who I'm betting is going to ask us to try and do a thing for Mac, i.e. find a sand weasel, which means we got to board the dog, because I vaguely remember that. Those little lights make me think those are secrets, but there don't seem to be secrets here. Get out of the way, guy. Okay. Hi, lady. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Ooh, alterations to hoverboards. <laughs> we got divorced, so I stole his stuff. Sure, okay, fine. Yeah, I guess you don't want to... Uh... I might be able to talk to, like, the sand weasel expert outside of town now, maybe? E either way, we need to go back to Lifeborn, I guess. Alright. Let's go do that thing. As we hear a little bit more of the best music in the game. Seriously, this, this music is just like, it, it's excellent Christmas music. <laughs> I, I put this on a Christmas playlist once, it was just so good. Just kind of looped it all night. It was a good song. Hey, you know about sand weasels. Teach me how to catch one. Yeah, I don't think sand weasels are actually in the actual playable area yet, though. Because we'd kind of notice them. They stick out, if I recall. Because they do have, like, a physical presence. Yes, they do have actors. Okay, well, either way, we need to go back to Lifeborn. Unable to return here. It's kind of sad. Unfortunately, this means we won't be able to listen to the best music. But we have to. So, alas, we head out. Although we will come back here later. I do remember that as well. I don't think you ever get permanently locked out of any particular areas in the game, which is good, you know. It means that there's not really anything you can miss. Okay, so... Let's go talk to the license person. Get our attendant license. And our uh, customization thing. We are in the wrong dome. Uh, I guess the game checked where we came from and just decided that's where we should get dumped out. Context game. Context. Alright, let's go to Lifeborn. Onwards. It's nice I can ride my hoverboard through there. It's a little less nice because it has a significantly bigger hitbox than my character. It's really easy to get caught on stuff with it. Fly. Bounce of doom, I think is what some of that text said. Okay. Anyway, we're back at Lifeborn. We've 
got to go get ourselves a customization kit to customize our thing. Even though we aren't technically a mining engineer person. Ooh, someone's meeting us. We're special. Hello, concierge. Uh oh. Gonna go get a license, Dealey. Become a true citizen of this place. Get access to all the secrets and stuff. Okay. Hey, it's this lady! Second counter from the left. All right. Now we're a hotel attendant. I'm not sure what we learned, but yes. Um, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to get a customization kit too. Okay. Maybe someone intercepted it? What is that animation supposed to be? Alright, take me to Captain Terry. So we may continue this spacecation where absolutely nothing will ever go wrong. Ever. I think that NPC's new. The one behind the thing. We might have to talk to him. Is Captain Terry out in the field? Oh, right. This place is right next to the door to the exit. Right, 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 right. To the office of Captain Terry. Yo! But I need my customization kit and also the ability to mine. That's kind of important. Camaro from Tokyo and was careless. Went alone to the volcano. Uh oh. It sounds like there's going to be a rather spicy fight there. I didn't bother too much with the Matia mine because there wasn't anything to do. Ah, the nicely animated fighting guys are gone. They really tied the room together, you know? Alright, so let's go fight in a volcano. Because that's the thing we can do. And maybe then we will gain the ability to truly customize our ride and become an ultra mining master even though we didn't catch a sand weasel because we couldn't figure out how to do that just yet it'll be fine I'm sure oh hey it's those guys I remember these guys hmm I've noticed that we've run into both of these guys before all the security areas. <laughs> Maybe they're secretly rogues? I recognize this. Yes, yes it is. Alright, so the rogues are coming after the escape pods. Fair enough. Hello. Well, to be fair, I'm a trainee too, but you know. To the volcano! Uh 
Uh-oh. At least we can handle bees. Oh, so that reminds me, we have got to go fight some bees at some point. Alright. This is a terrible idea, but let's do it. Alright, fighting bees. Okay, step one, go after the hive, because it'll send more bees out after you, and that's not good. That's the real threat of these things, it's just that they freaking rush you. And when you fight them at level one, they, like, even one can pretty much one-shot you. At this level, it's not too bad. It's not great, they're still taking out a decent amount of my health, but totally doable. Might need to heal, but we got a comb of honey. Which is why we fight bees. Because... Honey! Won't be able to handle this in battle. Depleted after one, use power plus one. Basically, it, it makes you permanently powerful. So it's important to pick fights with bees whenever you can, provided that they aren't going to completely murder you immediately. Which is, of course, kind of the whole trick with bees. Oh my god, that's a lot of bees. I need to use my magical piercing bonbon to hit as many of these guys as I possibly can. These bees are mean. Quit it, bees. I think they're just bitter because I kind of destroyed their home. I guess that's understandable. Hope that at least gives me some decent experience. Oh, well, that's a fair bit. I'll take it. And yeah, we got some poppin' corns. I want to use that right now, actually. The last kernel. There we go. That'll work. And I think there's also some art in this area as well. So we got to keep an eye out for that. Ooh, multi shell. Check our bond bond for that. Despite that being a shell, it's not part of the coating, which is a little confusing. One in eight chance of breaking. Yeah, I don't want to use any of the breakable stuff. It becomes a little dicey to rely on stuff that's not going to be reliable and will break at probably the worst possible time. Ooh. That guy with the cleaver is new. And that looks like, uh, what was his name? Mr. Drippy from Nino Kuni. I haven't thought about that game in quite a while. I should play that again. I got the sequel to that, and I never actually played it. Which is weird, because I really, really liked Nino Kuni Heart Cookie. I think that also gives us permanent stat boost. I think. Yep, HP max plus two, love plus one. Gonna need that on Okuna. And that looks like the only thing we have that's kind of like that right now, so we're good. And I do believe this is the volcano. So let's take out as many of these bees as we possibly can. And in doing so, protect Nicholas Cage's face. Although whether or not that's a positive thing or not, I'm not entirely sure yet. Alright, got some experience. And there's a pretty big boss coming up, if I recall, so we gotta be careful about that. So there's a little secret path over here. It's a new area, so there's probably gonna be new enemies. Oh god, that's a lot of enemies. And bombs, which we definitely, definitely don't want to hit. Because those will 
probably take us a third of our health in one go, I think. The enemies themselves don't seem to be that threatening, but those bombs are the real scary bit. And that should be a level right there. Alright, got a level. Fire coat. That's bonbon item, I believe. Additional fire damage upon successful hit. Fire resistance. That will be useful. Because this is a volcano. So, inherent resistance plus damage boost. Yes, please. And now our bonbons on fire. Which is totally not even more scary knowing there are bombs around, but we'll do what we can. Why are there bombs in a volcano and how have they not exploded? I think that's a more pressing question. Well, either way, there's more rocks we can get. But we can't get yet. Ooh! But if we hit that, that should connect this to the mine, I think. Because I think these two are connected. So those were careful. There we go. Alright. Just gotta leave those bombs alone and we'll do fine. We got now a bomb gum. That could actually be useful. Let's let's take that. And move to pocket. That I also might be useful. Okay, I think we're good there. Let's see, I think we're kinda stuck here without the mining upgrades. So let's just keep going on our merry little way to the Blast Furnace. Right, we got fire enemies now. Fortunately, our fire defense is going to help us out with this. Also, we should probably put some money in the bank and maybe, you know heal up, because I think the moment we open that door we fight a thing. I think. So we'll use that on Opuna. And then let's, let's just for safety slam everything we have into the bank so we don't lose anything. Just out of safety. And there's the blast furnace. Yes. Resolutely. That's a good adjective right there. And now we're in a fight. Oh, poop. New plan. Let's, let's take out the little popcorn enemies first. I don't know if that killed that torch man, but if we can take them out. I don't know. Let's use the noisy horn. That should weaken him a little. I don't want that. I want the bomb gun. Whoopsie! Uh, of course. No, no, no. Heal, heal, heal. No. Oh. Alright, well, we've revived, so it's okay. We're okay. Thomas Keaton. This guy's got a weirdly normal name for just some bizarre monster. I don't know how we revived like that. I'm not gonna question it. I'm just going to take that as a, a victory. Oh no! Our airbag capsule broke. It didn't say it was going to break though. That's sad. But there we go. 
We saved the spirit of fire. Is it the power of fire and also a mining license? Because I kind of need one of those too. Ominous. But all right. Also, I don't think I've ever actually looked at that. That is genuinely terrifying to look at. Okay. Even though we've cleared this out, I doubt that's going to make it so enemies stop spawning. It would be nice, but I doubt it. Oh, we didn't run into anything, so maybe, maybe it did. And now, apparently, we can press the switch. And the fire spirits' children are rocks. Sure. Okay. Not gonna question it. Am I gonna have to pick a fight with something? Oh, you're the child. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so this will show up in battle sometimes, and you can hit it and get, like, fire bonuses. If I recall. Although I've never really found a lot of use out of that. And, and they don't show up too commonly. I can't get through there because I don't have a mining license. Ah! But the music in this game is still wonderful. Can't go through there, cause I can't mine for shit. Uh, I wonder if I can go back to Blue Desert and look for a sand weasel now that I've done all this nonsense. Maybe sand weasels are amicable to fire spirits. Who knows? That camera angle's a bit not great. Hey, it's Goldie! Hey, Goldie! I fought the thing. I got a fire spirit thing. Harry is becoming a pain. It seems almost like there's a mass conspiracy, but that could never be. need to thank me, but you can thank me. If I said yes, I probably would have gotten extra fame, and I'm going to be kicking myself for that. Aw, he's proud of himself. Good for you, Apuna. I could use more of that in my life. Myself. So that gave me an uh, intelligence increase, that's useful. Yeah, I'm the hero man guy, I'm, of course I'm gonna handle it. Yay! I'm a one-star ranger now. Or rather, I'm a two-star. I was a one-star. I wonder if that means I can go on vacation now to the Blue Desert to go catch sand weasels. I'd kind of like to do that. And also, can I get my custom kit for my hoverboard now, please? I, I'd very much like that. Hooray! Alright! Again, I miss those combat guys. 
Uh, we still have to do some fishing. I'm gonna do that for a little bit. Because we do need to catch, I think, something like 40 fish. And apparently, like, the red fish that aren't just classified as small fish, those don't count. So we're, we're gonna have to fish a few times, I think. And apparently the difference in bond bite that you use just changes the total amount of time you have to do this, which is, you know, such a minimal thing that we don't really ever need to. Like, I mean, if I got some premium bond bite that would give me, like, extra time, I guess I'd use it just because, but there's not really a reason to do it. Fish. Alright. So we caught three fish. I think we need something like 40 of those. If I can take a look at my, my job, I guess. Uh, gather 10 minerals, can't do that yet. Catch 50 fish. Okay, so we need 50. How many do we have? Oh, we do have some bond fight axe. I guess we'll use that. Okay, we got eight, so... Let's, let's go fishing for a while, I guess. Might as well use Bond Bite X, not that we really need it. Fish. Fish. Three. Four. Five. That's not good. Oh, that's exceptionally not good. Please tell me at least... Oh, that was a lot of fish, too. Of course, I used a nice bait, and then I lose it immediately. One. It'd be nice if those actually damaged the enemy, too, seeing as they're bombs and they're standing right next to them. The fact that it doesn't is kind of obnoxious. That, oh, interesting. Okay, so your fishing lure does not follow the same rules as your bond bond. That's obnoxious. Because if it did, we'd be able to pierce these guys. And take out those three at once. Also, we're not going to get these ones either. Crap. I'm a bad fisherman. Let's try again. So we're the piranhas. This will be plus three fish, which will take us to 11. Another nice thing is you don't necessarily have to go with the cardinal directions for aiming. You can go at angles to compensate and get around stuff, which is kind of a neat idea. Bop. Alright. So that's 11. 39 more. Ah, these things suck. Nothing. I could sell these, I guess, but I don't have really any use for them. No more Peronians, please. Just give me more fish. Yeah, that'll do. Let's not hit that bomb this time, please. I don't like that it's defaulting to that target. That feels like that's just trying to be there to mess with impatient people like me. Right side, lots of fish here. Bop. Let's not hit that bomb if we can help it. Because it's not real fishing if there's not a chance of exploding yourself in the process. That's just common sense right there. There we go. And that'll take us to 19. That's not bad. Not bad at all. How 
wish it was a little easier to just direct what you want to hit. It always seems to just go exactly where you don't want to go, you know? But, I guess even aiming systems today have that problem. Those piranhas are dangerous. That's gonna be... Yeah, they do more damage than the regular fish. Okay, fine. Gonna deal with these piranhas first. But these guys kind of have the same issue bees have. They just kind of rush you, which sucks. Especially with the bombs, they can take out pretty much all your health immediately. It's not the easiest thing to deal with. But I think I'm just grumpy because the quota kind of sucks. 50 seems a bit exorbitant. Like, 25 is okay. By 50 just seems like you're here to waste time. 23. Alright. This takes 27. Glad I don't get those bombs. Which again, that's where my aim seems to default, which is not great, but that's 27. Do not care for these piranhas. I think that's most of my health right there. Can I heal? I don't think I can. Nope. There's no way we can do this. I wonder if I can buy a better rod that has more health. Let's go find out. I think it's just Bond Bite, which I don't think affects your health, just time and stuff. Alright. I'll take two Bond Bite eggs just because we came all the way here. I'm still not really sure how to access the whole the whole uh, point system. We must fish 40 times. Uh, unfortunately, it's a license we need. I'm hoping that didn't reset the counter, or rather indeed start the counter. That would kind of suck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're at, what, 27? That brings us to 35, 15 to go. On by X. No piranhas, they're not allowed. Uh, stop targeting literally everything except what I want to target. Of course, the angle missed, so... No, we're, we're gonna die through this. Okay, yup. Yup, that's, that's good aiming right there. Just gonna cycle through literally everything I can't actually target without getting in trouble. Good. That's good. We just got five fish here. I wonder if that, you know, fish 40 times thing, I have to actually catch anything. You know, because all it said was I had to fish X number of times. I didn't say I necessarily had to catch anything. Oh, 
Alright, that's 4T. We still need 10 more. Yeah, of course, we missed the corona. There's half our health. I have anything to show for it. Way stupid piranha. And of course we miss. Uh, ten more. This will do nicely. Doesn't look like there's any piranhas either. This is a mercy fish, is what it is. It's just, we saw you fish, we saw you're not good at it. Just take all the fish. Problem solved. I will take it gladly though. Okay. Boom. They were caught only normally, though. Hooray! Is that a good thing? Like, is that better than the rod we had, or was that literally the rod we had? I don't see power rod here. Custom rod. Hmm. I guess that must be it. I guess. Uh, okay, jobs. Gather materials. Licenses. We're still gonna have to do... more uh, angler stuff, but I think... I think we can go get another thing at uh, the job place to get the next quota. Nice lex. Uh, the next license will give us access to open water, which means we get to drive a boat. That's kind of why we need these licenses, is boat access mostly, if I recall. But I think that's enough fishing for today. Because that was kind of abysmal. Now, if I recall, this guy wasn't here earlier. What's your deal? You are a magic person and I love you. Thank you. Alright, so we got a secret code the ring color seed. Alright, do, 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 secret codes. We have two, but we need two more to get the rainbow bomb. Hmm, okay. So, I think... Oh, we need to go to license and we're on the wrong floor, aren't we? Oh, no, actually, we're exactly where we need to be. I totally planned that. Can't prove I didn't. Okay. I need to update my licenses, please. Alright, open water Seamaster. Now, let's see what the next quota for it is. Okay, well, we need to go to Artilia next, I think, so that's okay. Seamaster. Catching food for the Orcophilin. Endangered species. We need to protect them, okay. Catch 50 of its favorite fish types. Okay, so do I need to... Hmm. 
Oh, that's useful. Uh, we're going underwater. I think we might have to go back to the, the fish area. Uh, actually, I think that's it for that. Okay, let's let's go back to the waterway and see if we can see what changes. Because scuba diving, yeah, yeah, we need to do that now. Gonna go scuba dive. Was that another cat over there? Hmm. There's a lot of cats in this game. All right. I'm not saying we sit around fishing a lot more, I'm just saying I'd like to kind of advance what I'm doing. Okay. So let's, uh... My commitment is kind of non-existent right now, I just want to dip my toe and see what I have to do. I'll be back later to do more of this. Are there secret codes around here? I want the secret codes around here. Okay. But first, secret codes, maybe? Does not appear to have any secret codes, alas. The lack of codes that are secret... It's devastating. Okay, so let's go dive underwater, because I guess we can do that now. Whee! Now, we weren't ever exactly told what this thing's favorite food is, which might be a problem. But with us, you know, trying to catch it, maybe we just have to get 50 foods, period? Like, they're all ostensibly its favorite food, maybe? I don't know. It's such a weird little octopus thingy. And now it's dead. Sorry, weird octopus thingy. Swimming heads and a lantern. But I don't know what I'm supposed to actually be looking for around here. Also, we're scuba diving. This really is an awesome vacation now. Are there any... Oh, there's a person scuba diving around here. I want to talk to them. That's a big bomb. Let's not hit those. It looks like our fishing rod's a lot more powerful now. That's advantageous. Alright. So what's your deal, swimming guy? I think he's got a thing for this fishing instructor. What's the big U-shaped fish? Okay. Well, those bombs seem to take a bit of a punch. That's ideal. So I'd rather not explode them. Whoops! I don't think there was much I could have done. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I gotta do this footwork on my own? Okay, fine. Okay, so we need 50 lanterns, but we only have one so far. Well, that's okay, I guess. I'd like to see if we can go back to Blue Desert just to activate the Sand Weasel quest, but, uh, you know, we've made some progress today. We've, we've fished. We've done things that aren't just fishing. Uh, I think we're going to Artilia next, which, that's that's a fun place. That's, that's one of the coolest areas, I think. Because it's like a big art museum, basically. Hence the name Artilia. Alright. So 
so let's see if we can go to the blue desert. I think you can go at any time, but you have to like pay for it, I think. No, I don't want to go there. I, I would really like to be able to speed up this text. And no, I can't go back to Blue Desert right now. Uh, we can't go to Artilia yet at this time. Well, where am I supposed to go then? Actually, I probably have to go and get my, uh, my two-star license quota before it'll let me go, because I'm pretty sure Artilia is where we need to go next. Okay, so you, I need the Ranger Mark II license. Far left, because we have to make this as accurate a bureaucracy simulator as we possibly can. Right, there's our two-star license. We are now a Metropolite, I guess. Although I'm pretty sure I'm still just a Ranger, but okay. Two-star is a job at Artilia Dome. And I believe Artilia Dome is where we're going to get our next party members, so that's exciting. I think for now we've kind of done everything at land roll, short of, you know, just doing more fishing. <laughs> Which, you know, we'll, we'll try and get a little bit more out of that every night, I think. That's that's how we'll hammer all that home, I think. But anyway, well, I think so, be internet, we are back, and once again it sounds like the bell. Okay, so, uh... I went back and did all of it. This this entire chapter, I went back and did every single thing. Zero kills. We didn't free uh, Ryoma, because that's one of the requirements to get zero kills. I got the thing from the thing. We're good. There are a few differences, however. First and foremost, I grinded a few extra levels. Uh, we are now level 10. I had to grind out, like... Like, it, I was fighting ghosts that gave me two experience, right? Your experience is always 100. That's the requirement. But your what you get from everything as you level up decreases. So I had to go through, like, 50 fights twice. That kind of sucked. Also, our door's open because, I, again, I've got, like, three rooms worth of crap in here right now. So I can't even close my door. I'm, I'm moving all my stuff. So, uh, yeah. Audio's not going to be so great. And a cat might walk in and make a whole bunch of noise that can't be helped. Also, we got That's Awesome, which is like the best boots ever, and they're a secret thing that I found by accidentally falling into a hole. So there is that. Uh, but otherwise, we're here. We got the thing for the thing. Let's, uh, let's do it. Now, we do have the ability to go after the secret bosses. I, I know what the trick is to find one of them. I'm not sure if we'll be able to beat him. So we're gonna have to like save beforehand because ideally to go after him you have to have like three party members as well as like level 16 hey sykes how you doing um okay so ideally to go after the super boss of this because they are actually the hardest bosses in the entire game you have to have like a full party of three as well as be like level 16 which is the cap and unfortunately to get zero kills we would at most have two people. We could either have the robot that we're going to pick up or Ryoma, neither of which are particularly good. The robot does get an ability that does random damage, which theoretically could be super useful, but it'd be a real pain to use this guy. So we're going to try and go after the, the whole uh, secret bosses, but I'm not sure we'll actually do it. Anyway, this is the Zanmai, which I believe means spring. We got it from the thing from the thing. And now he's turning into a green version of us, and I think he's supposed to attack us. Because he's not finished. He's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah? What's going on with you? I, I'm kind of streaming in the middle of a personal crisis to feel a little better myself. I, I'm actually... I was honestly not sure if I was going to do it right now. Yes, we're absolutely bringing the robot along with... Uh, oh, poop! Okay, so fun story. That breaks it. So, new plan, we're gonna go get murdered and do this over. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, wait, we can't fight this guy because he won't be able to actually kill us. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go fight the fish lord guy. This is a secret boss we will fight. Yeah, the robot is ridiculously, like, fragile. For a zero kill run, it's, like, you only need him for one room. That's, like, right next to where we are right now, so... Or, or where we were, anyway. But this at least gives me a good idea of what sort of damage we're getting from this guy. So that's, that's a plus. Um... Yeah. So... The robot basically breaks whenever it falls. It breaks if it goes in the water. You theoretically can use him against the fish. You just have to sit at, like, the little stairs, and the fish will come to you eventually. It'll take a while, though. Uh, he freaks out if he ever sees a mouse. Like, he, he doesn't break, but he'll, like, go hostile against you, and you have to subdue him again. There's, there's a bunch of crazy rules if you want to actually, like, play this chapter optimally. And we're not doing it optimally, obviously, but... We're, we're doing the best we can, all things considered. <laughs> Alright. Our chapter is incomplete yet again. But that's okay, we can try again. Okay. Fortunately, I saved. Now, we need to be careful not to go into that hole, or else the robot will uh, break again. I think we need to avoid that cushion, too, because that is also a hole. Uh, throw some more money in there. Okay. But, uh... If we're gonna go after the secret bosses, and I want to, there's a couple of things I want to do first. So we're basically gonna get to the end of the chapter before we go back and fight the secret guys. Uh, once you finish the chapter, it's it's done, though. So we, we have to be careful to do this before we actually fight the final boss, but... We'll be okay. Just gotta remember not to step into that one area. Also, Blade of Wind is basically an enhanced shuriken, so it's... It basically replaces the shuriken entirely. Okay. Okay. So let's just walk around to make sure we don't fall into that stupid hole. And we walk around that cushion so we don't fall into a stupid hole. Also, it turns out, if you free uh, Gomon, he actually just restores all the chests, which is kind of cool. So you can get doubles of everything. Hey, Elder Luck, how you doing tonight? Now, this is what we needed the ninja robot for. All this extra bullshit. There's a mouse. It'll turn it crazy. And then it murders those humans for us, so it doesn't get counted on our kill count. <laughs> Congratulations. That's why I did all that bullshit and restarted the entire cocking chapter. Just for that. But we still have zero kills, which means we're still in the running for the best equipment. Now we got all these guys we gotta kill, right? Well, yeah, we might have to. If we did this another way. Because, uh, then something else is about to happen. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. For you see, this samurai has a gun, too. And he's gonna take care of all these guys so we don't have to. So, you have one bullet, and you decide that's that's gonna work against everyone. Okay, sure. There we go. So, zero kills. This is the final boss. We're not actually gonna fight him yet. Now we gotta fight uh, Musashi, which might be a problem. But we do have more, uh, more levels. Um, I, I got the chair three days late, and actually, if I had gotten it 12 hours later, I would have gotten a full refund, <laughs> as well as the chair. Um, the chair is okay, but there was one problem. The back of the chair is supposed to, like, screw into this plate using these bolts, and there's nothing actually inside, like, the holes to fasten the bolts to. They're just holes the bolts sit in. I had to go and, like, dig out some nuts out of, like, a junk drawer to see if they fit, and it kind of worked. But otherwise, it seems fine. I'm, I'm just a little worried about how sturdy that actually is. But, uh... I think we do actually have to fight... Musashi, I don't think we can actually run away from him. But he's a ghost, so it doesn't count. Okay, so we're just gonna use Windblade because it's the best move, and hopefully this takes him out. 
Fortunately, as we've learned, levels kind of are awesome in this game. Oh, Ryoma, yeah, you hang out right there. Twin Blade style. That's actually historically accurate to Musashi. Oh no, that's that's not good. I hope your cat's feeling better. I know things aren't really working out so well over here either. Like like I said, I'm actually like streaming to try and get away from like the biggest crisis I'm having right now, which is kind of shitty. But you know, we do the best we can in this world, and hopefully stuff works out. <laughs> I don't know how much health Musashi has. I'm really desperately hoping he doesn't straight up murder us. Uh, fortunately, we've got a lot of healing items. Uh, there's actually someone in the castle that if you don't kill anyone, you can talk to, and he'll just straight up give you ten of them, so that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, fight, Blade of Wind. Uh, I, I could have just done that. Oh, well. I hope Ryoma gets some experience for that. But that's basically Ryoma's lot in life right now. Goodbye, Musashi. You are my hero. Can I take this gun? Ah, it's broken. I'm gonna save, because so far we've done everything basically right. It took me an extra two hours, but... Well, you know, if I can help with uh, your, your stuff, let me know. I, I don't play a lot of Minecraft, and I'm mostly console, but, you know, I could probably come up with something if you want. Okay, this person is ostensibly a human, but they're actually a demon. Now, if we were playing a kill thing, uh, this would actually replace one of the geishas. And you can actually just straight up kill them there, and it'll get added to your kill count until later when you get informed that uh, it was actually a demon, so it doesn't count. Which is nice. It's, it's nice that it'll reverse that for you. Alright, my IQ's dropped. Now that's not good because IQ is of course your your magic damage and our character is basically entirely based around magic damage. In fact, that's going to be very important later on. Also, uh, the, the footwear we've got, the, our character's footwear in particular actually gives him different elemental resistances to these panels. The secret one I found actually gives me healing on every panel, which is kind of cool. Also, that's a boss. Getting those extra couple levels for for uh, the increased power of the shuriken would have been nice. I wish I got my chair for free as well. So I'm sorry for the reply. I didn't see that, but uh, I kind of wish I got it for free as well. I guess I'm just a pragmatist like that. Also, incredibly poor. <laughs> Having some money would be nice. Please wait. Okay, this is important. This is the thing we need to wait. So we spared all the geishas. We're not gonna kill her. We're gonna accept the gift. So we got a Maid Zobi. Now a Maid Zobi, not that useful. It's a little useful in the sense we don't have any uh, accessories for our character, but not that useful. And now we're just going to stand around and wait for a sec. Because it turns out they actually gave us the wrong gift. Which is the medicine box, which is one of the best accessories in the game. Because it basically doubles our intelligence. <laughs> so, so yeah. I'll take that maid Zobi for extra vitality. Uh, does Can I mess with Ryoma's equipment? No, he just has that. But we can throw on that extra Genji stuff Gomon was kind enough to give us. That'll, that'll give us... Uh, we don't need extra speed on him, just more defense. Alright. So we're pretty equipped. I think it's time we go after some secret bosses. Because that's basically what we were waiting for. Now there are two secret bosses. There's the big fish, and then there's another guy who gives us the ultimate sword of the chapter. Except there's actually two ultimate swords, that is. There's one for going through and not killing anyone, which we're doing effectively right now. And then there's one for... Ah, oh, poop. Uh, there's one for... Uh, killing the secret boss. Now the problem is, that particular secret boss is apparently like the strongest boss in the game. So that's... That's not great. But we'll figure it out. I'm gonna run. Flee! Poop. Okay, fleeing isn't working. We're gonna have to go all stealth mode on this guy. So 
I'm not ruining this this run. I spent an extra two hours. Crap, I didn't time that right. I spent the extra two hours getting this run perfect after screwing up last time. Please go to the left. Thank y'all. Oh. Oh, we got a 50-50 chance. River. Poop. And we can't run. Uh, and we're going to take no damage. Oh, we're taking a little bit of damage. That's okay. Yep. Just just strike me down, man. That's that's all I want right now. That's actually, like, the best place. So, basically, from here on out, Ryoma is going to be... Basically just a damage tank, whereas we're DPS. He's gonna try and distract enemies while we try and smack them down. That's, that's the plan, anyway. I've got tons of healing items. So, hopefully we can take out the, the secret bosses. I mean, one of them is really just a prestige thing, because we're already going to get a weapon that's equal to the one he gives us, and, and there's really genuinely no reason to have both, because you can only take one or the other, and, and the no kills one overwrites the kill all one, but I, I think it does anyway, I hope it does, because that's a, that's a freaking badge of honor right there. But... Uh, the other secret boss happens to have an accessory that's, again, one of the better accessories in the game. So, if we could get that, that would be pretty good. That boss is easier, if I recall, but he has more health, so his fight can go a lot longer. And, of course, the trap is no longer a trap, nor is this. It's only a trap when it's convenient for the game to have it as a trap. After that, it's not a trap anymore. Fortunately, we can just fall. But we'll, we'll take a couple swings at this boss, because, I mean, we certainly have the time. We've got one extra, well, two extra fights after these, and then we're done the chapter, so, you know, we got time. Okay, want to skip that fight. Now, like I said, fighting these bosses, ideally you'd have the robot plus Ryoma. For an... For a no-kills run, that's not really possible, though. You'd have to go one or the other. And and to be fair, the robot is significantly more useful. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so this guy's like 2,000 health, too, so... We're not in the best situation. Oh, uh, crap. Okay. Well, we're going to see if we can do this on our own. Ryoma, you did your job rather crappily, but we'll see what we can do. The thing is, I remember fighting this guy on my own before, so... That said, I was also doing a kill run where I was probably a lot higher level. So I'm not sure. Oh. Constitution went down, which I think is defense. Okay, item. Gonna heal now. I do not care for that move, Mr. Fish. I mean, theoretically, if we trade damage, now that didn't work out so well. I'm, I'm only give it two or three more tries. Like, it's not mandatory we take this guy out. I'm certainly not going to get all the best fights and all the best drops and stuff. Like I said, there's one that has like this ridiculously hard to find enemy that's invisible and has like a one in 100 chance of dropping something you need. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% married to the idea of getting all the rare drops, but... 
it would be nice. I wouldn't say no. Oh, Ryoma, okay. I gotta focus on DPS. You, I don't know what you're doing, Ryoma. That's a huge hitbox, too. That's literally the entire environment. Well, since I'm in the vicinity of Ryoma, I think I will heal him. Holy crap, yeah, that's that's literally minus one row the entire environment. This guy's dumb. This is this chapter is kind of ridiculous like that though. And I think that might have killed us both. Heal up. I think I timed that exactly not right, but we'll see. Okay. If we keep our guys together, that might be a better plan. Unfortunately, that of course means that we're definitely taking damage every turn. Uh oh. I think Ryoma, if we do this again with this specific strategy, Ryoma's gotta be our dedicated healer, because my guy's clearly DPS. Okay. This guy attacks really fast, too. Ah, uh, stop hitting Ryoma. You know what would probably be a better plan is to do this the opposite way, like have my guy stuck in a corner, whereas Ryoma's a little bit more freeform. Alright. Oh, that's exceptionally not good. Running out of Castile is kind of quick. Yeah, the boss really got us kind of on the wrong side of how we wanted to do this. Like, ideally, Ryoma would be the healer. Because at least this fight would end a little sooner. Because my guy's doing, like, double damage. That said, I am more dedicated to getting this drop than the other one, because, again, it's a redundant weapon. It'd be cool to get, but this is, like, the more useful of the two. What I should probably do, honestly, is just have Ryoma heal, even though we're okay. That way my guy's the, the dedicated attacker. Okay, that's, that's gonna be next next fight when this goes evidently backwards. Because I'm now kind of dedicated to this terrible strategy. But we're gonna make this work. We are, I'd like to think. I'd like to think this is gonna work. I do like that uh, your character can be sort of KO'd, but still brought back by any healing item, that's kind of nice. Well, Ryoma's in trouble now, so we might as well use our Castellas. We only have three left. Oh, this is not good. Come on, please die. Unfortunately, he's gonna attack again anyway, so it genuinely doesn't matter until he goes. Be right there. Although he went for Ryoma. I'm gonna take this as a shot. Come on! Oh, come on. 
Running out of Castillas. <laughs> I have no idea how much damage I've done to him at this point. I just know he's got like 2,000 health. Which I think makes him the most HP in the game. Ironically, the other fight's a lot harder though. Alright, Windblade. I really just want this guy to die now, please. Oh, that's... Fuma Shuriken, random damage, go! Well... Time to Hail Mary this. Hopefully this does it. Oh... You know, if that didn't hurt Ryoma... If that hadn't done Ryoma in, he could have just manually attacked him. Okay, well, we've, we've at least got a strategy in place. It's not a great strategy, mind you, but it is, in fact, a strategy. Okay. Flop, flop. Time to fight a big angry fish. I like that 50 damage. You do that 50 damage there, angry fish guy. I'll just hang out here. Actually, yeah, do that. That's pretty good. Actually, if he doesn't touch my particular panel, that works for me. Which I don't think he can, because Ryoma's actually physically in the way. That's kind of awesome. Okay, okay, we might actually have a strategy in place for this. Uh-oh. Not a great strategy, because this is now happening, but we did have a strategy. Yep, you go right there. You attack Ryoma, that's, that's just... Oh, poop. Let's try this again. No, you're not allowed to do that. Alright. Time for attack spams. Did I mention I should probably be, like, level 16 at this point? And have a lot more kills under my belt? Leveling down the target sounds useful. Of course it missed. Okay, let's use our Castilla, because we need it. Let's see. Stops target's movements. That could actually be useful as well. I don't think that actually worked, though. Blade of Wind! That's okay. Knock him down. I'll use the Castilla to heal him. Uh-oh. Okay, Ryoma. Uh, level down target. I don't think that'll actually hit, which is a problem. This is kind of why the robot's sort of useful. You can do random damage attacks, which can do a lot of damage if you let them. Oh, 
that's not good. Unless he got taken out by the floor effect. Still, if we do like 100 damage per go, that's like a sixth of his health right there. Yep, you keep healing, Mr. Fishman. That's fine. He is just being super nice to us right now. I think his AI might have been broken. <laughs> So I don't think he can actually hit us until he goes down one. Unless Ryoma's uh, anti-movement actually did a thing. Oh, nope, there he goes. This is where things start going a little bit bad for us. But we'll see what we can do. Oh, this is where things go real bad for us. I wonder, can I get all the way up here? Actually, if he goes all the way up there, that's fine. That's fine, that's perfect. Okay, we might have something here. Cause I don't think he can currently hit us from over there. I think he still needs to go down one more square to hit us from here. Which, as long as he doesn't do, we're okay. And now we're in trouble. So we're gonna try going up. Because I think the game actually does give you a little bit of leeway for movement. Go, 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 go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Please don't kill me. Okay. It's not great, but we're not immediately dead. We might actually have this fight. Now I want to stress, this is a fight we absolutely should not be able to have at this level. But if I can get that top left, or not, or not. Okay, so we're not in the best shape, but we might have this fight, actually. If I can get to the bottom without him going straight down, we're good. Go, 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 go! Unfortunately, it takes up so much freaking space, you know? Please kill you. That didn't kill you. See, I, I kind of wanted you to not to be alive now, Mr. Fish. Oh, I don't think I can move with that. Oh, I think that's game. Yeah. <laughs> Alas. I don't think we're going to beat the fish guy. But let's see if we can fight the other guys. See, if we win the other fight, which is ostensibly harder, even though the enemy doesn't have more health, we do get a better weapon. So that might do something. I'm not wildly enthused about that prospect, because I really doubt it's going to be super effective, but what can you do? Come on, snorkel guys. I just want to run away from you, but I can't stealth underwater. Damn it. Run! I also don't think I can run. Like, physically, I cannot speed up while underwater. And I think we might be stuck. Because Ryoma's going to get pinned down by the other guy. Yeah. I think we're in a bad spot. Yep, 
Yeah, we're gonna have to fight these guys. Okay, so we screwed this up kind of badly. Fortunately, I don't really expect us to win, although we could just quickly lose to the fish guy again. I guess that's an option. I've slain one people. I didn't mean to, but I did it. I've slain two people. Again, didn't mean to. So it doesn't count. Yeah, except it totally does, but that's why we're gonna die, so it doesn't really matter. Windblade! This is gonna be the time when we actually do finish this fight and kill him. It'll be like the one time. You know, I, I'm, I'm really sad too. He had that nice little moment of, he was just wandering back and forth, not doing anything. Had he kept up with that, we could have beaten him. I don't like that move, Mr. Fishman. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now the level down attack hits. Just kill me, Mr. Fish. I didn't want to run away. Oh. That's 51. Alright, come on. Kill me, Mr. Fish. I mean, I guess I could show off the other way to get to the fight. Because there is another way. And I have shown off the fight, to be fair, thinking about it. Have I mentioned I've got the worst memory ever? Because I totally do. But, we'll see what we can do with this. beaten. Alas. Incomplete! We're gonna see that a few more times, I feel. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, so you can just kite the fish over to the platform and that's fine. And that's actually important because the robot can't go underwater. Ah. I don't think there would have been anything I could have done about that. Like, if I could just stealth underwater and make these guys go away, that would be nice. I do have to actually fight the boss at some point, like the proper boss of this, though. Got a nice little parade going. Ninja Parade, featuring giant evil fish monster. Going over here now. That's okay. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's great. We can do this. Let's just run. Ah. Okay. 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 We got this. No problem. No problem. Just gonna go sneak ninja time up in here. Once again, the trick to getting this guy is see that diamond on the wall, scroll it down, step up, and then there's a pot. And that's how you know you're where you need to be. Now I'd like to save here, but the problem is I genuinely forget how to get out of here. <laughs> and I don't want to be trapped here. So I think we got to actually fight this guy. So hopefully we don't screw this up. But well, we've already lost this guy once, so it's fine. Probably. 
No, I, I want that crazy super powerful sword. Maybe it'll let me make some sushi. Also, I believe this is the, like, chapter boss theme which plays here, just to show you how much of a badass this guy is. Also, this guy's got about a thousand health. Just ignore the fact that we just did 30. This is only, like, my best move. So, yeah, the super bosses of this chapter, they're, they're no joke. Especially if you're going low level like I am, and I grinded. We could have grinded a bit more, gotten Ryoma up in level. We could have, instead of Ryoma, grinded up the robot to, like, level 10 to get, like, the random damage attack, which potentially could have won the fight for us, honestly. But it's just, it's, it's too much random. And the thing is, we couldn't break the doll. We'd need to, like, manually walk down, avoid every trap, stay out of the water. It would have been a huge hassle to do that. So, alas, we're, we're not going to go through the secret bosses. Not in this chapter, anyway. Maybe the next chapter, we'll see. But right now, I'm just proud we've gotten through with zero kills. Because that's kind of awesome. It only took a full reset, but, you know... And, and to be fair, as much as I want to blame failure of, of our first attempt on not getting a random drop from a random enemy... It wasn't a random enemy, it was an enemy that only spawns with that boss. And I, I think it is actually a random drop. As, as much as I want to blame that on our failure, to be fair, we were failed the moment we got Ryoma. Because we would have had to have fight, fought that entire like wall of samurai in front of uh, Oda that T... He, uh, scares off. So, unfortunately, that could have gone better. It could have gone worse. Also, if you're looking for the That's Awesome shoes, the best shoes in the game, they're in this hole to my left. Fun fact. There's also a bunch of uh, pits in the room where you can find them, so it's it's still kind of an arduous, annoying thing. But it's important to know that if you're going to play this game. Also, if you're also playing this game, good on ya! I hope you had more luck with the bosses and and the no kill not screwing up and the robot than I did because uh, I'm inept at everything apparently. And life just sucks. I don't think this is the way I need to go, but I can't quite remember. Uh, yes, this is where all the trap guys were and the angry Buddha statues. See, so yeah, we're we're right on track to where we need to go. Gonna go in here, gonna avoid those pillows, cause they might be trapped. I'm not going to test it. <laughs> Get sent back all the way to the uh, dungeon again. I've seen enough of that place for a lifetime, thank y'all. Alright, so now we gotta go fight the final boss of this chapter. I'm not sure we're prepared for that, given that Ryoma is still basically useless, but to be fair, even when he levels, he's useless. We're at least level 10, and we've got that huge intelligence boost, so hopefully that'll do it. This is Lord Oda. We're, uh, we're gonna try and take this guy out. Oda Eo. Lord Oda. Yeah. I think we can take him in like two hits from our main character's attack, honestly. Let's try that again. Blade of Wind! I think he has something like 300 health. He doesn't have much. Yep. And that's the fight. Chapter over. Bump bum. So much easier than a big angry fish, isn't he? Yeah, we're not done yet, by the way, spoilers. Did I not mention that there's end of chapter boss music that that uh, secret boss had? Yeah, we didn't listen to that quite yet, now did we? We gotta fight on the roof, because it's, it's a ninja thing. Have you never seen a ninja film? We have to fight on the rooftop. Oh, 
Also, that's the music we're looking for. Also, he's a big angry frog. That's... You know... When I first fought this guy, I can't tell you what I was exactly expecting out of this fight, but I wasn't expecting a big frog. So poison kind of sucks. But... You know, I'm pretty sure my guy actually gets health from poison tiles. So net, it's actually not that big a deal. Also, it's not a lot of damage. We could probably just face tank this boss with our damage. Honestly. Uh, he's not... We got a warning shot him. But, uh, yeah. The, the final boss music of chapters is kind of awesome, by the way. Like, the soundtrack in this game in general is pretty great, but the, the boss theme is just so damn good. Croak. Yeah, he's only doing 11 damage. Compared to the, like, actual bosses we were fighting a moment ago, this guy's a total chump. Like, just an absolute wimp. That's okay, you keep fighting Ryoma. I'm just gonna do that to you, buddy. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we can actually just straight up face tank this guy. That said, we have lots of Castellas, so we might as well use them. That way, at least Ryoma's doing something, being a target dummy, really. That's that's his one lot in life, is Ryoma. He's, he's the owner of the badass sword, and also he's a giant targeting dummy because he's got no other use. One damage. But this is like night and day from those other fights. <laughs> it's like, those were actually scary. This is just kind of comical. And to be fair, I think that's because I'm supposed to be at this guy at like level 8 or 9, whereas I'm level 10 right now. I've got great gear. Well, my, my weapon kind of sucks because I don't have a good one, because I can't get a good one. But, you know, otherwise, I've got relatively great gear. I'm probably over-leveled for this fight. And yet we were massively under-leveled for those other fights. And the only way to get more levels for that would be to grind little two experienced ghosts or to go on a killing spree. Which, neither of those are really preferable right now. But, let's see what we got with this. Not really worried about the damage from this guy so much. Like, the poison kind of sucks, I guess. But, yep, there's my healing from poison tiles, because I've got the magical hero shoes. But, yeah, you know... I wasn't expecting a frog from this fight the first time I played this. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting a frog. I think I was- I would be more sooner, like, expecting, like, a red-skinned, sort of, like, traditional Christian devil monster or something, and have this as, like, some sort of allegory of Christianity slowly, like, enveloping Japan, which was a thing that happened at one point. You know, and this game does sort of take place in sort of a nebulous timeline, so, you know, that- that could maybe work. But I was not expecting a big frog with, like, a snake for an arm. But, snake for an arm or not, we're gonna take this guy down. We got plenty of healing items, he's not doing too much damage. I'm honestly just more worried about Ryoma and expending items at this point, rather than actually, like, conserving them, because why bother? And there's the fight. And thus, we killed the big angry frog monster that was the whole issue. He doesn't really look like a frog, though. It just looks like his head exploded a little. Nice background, though. Really nice background. He was kind of a joke, but mainly because he was a terrible, terrible fight.
It's important what he says here about there being hatred, because that's that's going to be a giant overarching theme. There's there's a few overarching themes in every chapter that will tie this all together. We got the Yoshiyuki. His incredible sword that's like one of the best weapons in the game. Wasted on a character that's basically useless. But we went through a no-kill run, so that's a plus. Also, there's a boat. It's a big boat. Some might call it a ship. Others might just call it a boat, though. I'm guessing they're here to rescue you. Ryoma Sakamoto. Actual historical figure, by the way. It's worth knowing. And there's actually some philosophy here, which is kind of nice. Hopefully, everyone will live in peace anyway. And until then, I won't kill without cause because I now have a magic blade. That makes me awesome. Even though I couldn't kill the stupid super bosses. Unfortunately, I don't think we can actually join this guy. Eh, let's let's say interesting. Eh, screw it. We'll join Ryoma. He he's got some ideas. He's he's useless without a fighter anyway. So, <laughs> really, the near future chapter. That's that's funny to say that because that is the one I hate the most. Just because it's invisible flags the chapter. Also, it's just one really big, really bad uh, allegory for or, um, XP for Akira, rather. Oh my god, I can't believe I had to restart this chapter, like, twice. Ah, uh, so embarrassing. And I still didn't get to take out the super bosses, that's embarrassing. But, hooray, we beat it. I gotta figure out what chapter to do next. That's a fight I didn't do this time. I don't know, I, I kind of like the uh, space chapter, that's that's a fun one, as well as the, uh, what's it, the, the kung fu chapter is a really fun one too. But you know, that's, that's the great thing about Live Alive, is every single chapter is a different theme, and a different sort of uh, gameplay style, which I think is really genuinely interesting. I'm not sure if Akira had a super robot or not, because I didn't read the manga. I did see the movie, which was horribly, horribly chopped up and really, really confusing, though. I, I really should watch or read the manga, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> but the near future chapter, man, it is probably, like, the longest chapter, and it just has so many invisible flags that don't make a lot of sense. Like, you just gotta talk to random people about random stuff to advance. That doesn't really lead to you actually thinking you can advance, just, ah, oh, you talk to a guy, good for you. And and that bugged me. And I think what's worse is, that was the second chapter I played after the ninja chapter, the first time I played this, which is my favorite chapter. So it was like, oh, I went from such a great chapter to such a crap chapter, like, immediately. And, and the sad thing is, I think the near future chapter is the only one I really dislike. You know, like, like there's some that kind of hit a little bit better than others, like the Wild West chapter, that one's, that one's a little bit weird. And, and the fighting chapter's a little peculiar. And, and to be fair, I think the penultimate chapter is probably the best one from a story perspective, but, you know. That's the cool thing, this game has so many different stories to tell that all link together, and they all have different themes and gameplay styles, which I think is just... That's what makes this game so special, I think. After killing zero people, I was so awesome, and I got a magic super weapon. And hopefully someday peace will return to Japan. We can hope. I gotta figure out which chapter to do next. I'm gonna save! Also, we're, we're great out there in sepia. 
to show that we've cleared a chapter. And then once we clear all these chapters, we actually unlock an extra chapter. Although we could go back and restart this chapter and do it differently if we wanted to. The question is which chapter do next? And, and they all have different styles, they all have different gameplay styles, they all have different lengths. Like, if I recall, sci-fi and the, the cowboy chapter are pretty short, as is Wrestler. Uh, Kung Fu is sort of moderately long, as is Caveman, and the mech chapter is probably about as long as, as Ninja chapter. But infinitely less good, I think. And, and part of me wants to save this for last, just so I can put it off, because I don't like it. Part of me wants to do it immediately, just so I get it out of the way. Uh, which one do I want to do? I have no idea, but it is 3 a.m. and I've been doing this for an hour, so I think that will be it for this time. But, uh, come back tomorrow when we're gonna do some more Gotcha Force, maybe a thing on Thursday, and next week we'll do more of this. And, uh, who knows, maybe I'll have it up as a vote for the Discord or something for, uh, exactly what chapter to do next. Or, or maybe I'll just pick Kung Fu, because I really want to do Kung Fu again. Because that's an interesting chapter, to say the least. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed another day of Live Alive. We'll once again be back with more Live Alive next week. And until then, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, follow the stream to know we go live. Because we're going to try and stream every single night. Usually a different game every day of the week. Uh, still working on that. And of course, I'm trying to move rooms right now. So um, that, that might be put off for a while. Just shoring up that schedule. But we'll see what we can do. We'll see, we'll see. You also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel, see everything else I do, including giant collections of all my streams, reviews, which I have one going up later tonight before I go to bed, which will probably be in about an hour or so, as well as other awesome stuff. i got to get back into putting up gameplay, but, uh, you know, baby steps, baby steps. I, I've got a lot on my plate right now I'm kind of dealing with. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is be a badass ninja that didn't kill anyone, especially the secret bosses, and I definitely, definitely did not need to reset a whole bunch of times because of random arbitrary bullshit. I still love this chapter, and I still love this game, damn it. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back next week with more Live Alive, and tomorrow's more Gotcha Force, so I hope you enjoy. But until next time, peace out, internet.